I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! So are you? You cannot hide behind this door forever! Drax, let it go! Nobody's stashing units! We shall see! Thanks for telling him. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey! Remember that time on Conlar? With the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Sure thing, Mom Lord. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always holding out on us. My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountain. Yeah. Guys. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He 
He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Helmet. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. You got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Dynamite parking job, Quill! I do not see what explosives have to do with our current position. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. 
We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. The space lady help in this range head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? Maybe. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen business. <laughs> That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! I thought you lived! Danger! Ah. Ah, not again! Groot says we should hide under him! That is a terrible suggestion! It's like she's trying to hit us! You sure you haven't dated this woman? Pretty sure! should have gone to Mach 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and their Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. Are you good? Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. It would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some of those. It's not alone. Get ready. Jelly! 
a monster around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? And all those tails? Shoot stuff. There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no! I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I gotta get ahead! Try not to kill yourself on the way up! There they are! Wing controls! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Trouble, assassin. This jungle is majestic. In an everything's trying to kill you sort of way. Sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Where are you? <laughs> nice hidden passage. I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Got long arms. 
You done exploring, Quill? Cause, uh, I really need to talk to you. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Quill. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you just gonna assume it's funny? Not sure I get where... I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on. The sooner we get the lady help enter, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. They must be out on the hunt. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. There's further proof that we are not welcome. You get us through here, Gamora. Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn is first. What about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. Where did you learn this clairvoyance, assassin? Huh? You never learned to track? Tathians do not chase our prey. Ignore them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. This is the virtue of the hunt. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freak. Uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, blocks. we'll find another way. Trying to. No, the statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. They say Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right.
way, right? Hey, my shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. A miracle that's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? That's just great! All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk? <clears throat> great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster thing! Everyone get ready! Through! Hog time time! This won't hurt! Watch the stingers! The only thing worse than a bug is a flying one! My bloodlust is sated for the present! I will place the of the Lady Elvender's feet! Get it out of your system before we get there! Shirts this way. 50 units, as it ain't. He doesn't have 50 units. I am... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure, she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Think these statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me, Bruno, the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Any just go. No, you just go. 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 Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. No! No! Yep, definitely saw the giant head. Nice 
nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Anyone know what that is? A monster! Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. <laughs> See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. No giant monster. All good. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship still functional. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. All right, it's all yours. Done in record time. yours and it's done one shiny upgrade nice and crafty
So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Surprise, this thing has been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrying. He's got a point. Hard enough to land here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. Next, Peter Quill. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. <clears throat> this brings back memories! See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said, he gives credit where credit is due. Man, never realized Seknarf was such a hot spot for the war. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Thanks, Drax! What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground! Looks like there's a way down here! Quill! You gotta see this ship! Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri fear her. <clears throat> okay, here we go! Oh, slimy. Uh, guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, uh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Smack reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! It's like what? Flark, flark, flark. Quill. Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just could you please look at the wall? Quill, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA court in the last couple of some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again. Get so much! Ass. Find bigger! 
Climb up and over. Ding ding ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. The stars are made of high. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. I did it! Impressive. Now we got to get the next one out. Rocket. I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too! Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a Regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! Oh, man. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? I'm Groot. You're a cool dude, Groot. I'm Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but... I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is gonna work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I am Groot. I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am Groot. <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. Where did you guys go? The uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. In many ways, this place is fighting in that whole world. That bad, huh? Tath is not a place for the weak. Punishing weather and lethal predators force every Katathian to fight for survival. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but he's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? 
This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You... How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to learn. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Jakari installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? <laughs> that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, I'll take that time for you to throw up. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scud? Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got Monster gotta food? Your taste the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Why are you whispering? Uh, Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. he wants you out of my way. Or maybe he wants you to sit back and watch so you can learn from a pro. Dudes, relax. We need to have each other's backs out there. No one's winning this on their own. Precisely. If we stay united and centered, there will be no turning back. Who's with me? Die, team! Yes! Peace! 
<laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Uh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces. And now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. Stinky slime tunnel part. Ha! <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? <laughs> what do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. Are you, maybe? I love it. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Ace? Are we gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? Yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. is definitely in my top 10 fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we've been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flocking infinity bridge, is what it is. Why are you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flocking thing is looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drax. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? 
To guarantee your safety as a leader. Oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me. But maybe it responds good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid. But it's been busted ever since I can remember. Mama, she said, son, you'll always be on the road. And he says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. We'll bring hell down from above. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. This is our time to go from zero to hero. This is so cool. A man on the run, he's a ghost, he is no one. The thunder when it comes will bring with it many guns. Gypsy woman said, she said, boy, you die. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? 
tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Oh crap, I'm gonna miss Knight Rider. Guess I'll just have to wait for the rerun. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I miss him so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement.
I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With group? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. Uh, Quill's asleep at the helm, which means I'm in charge, and we're doing my plan. The plan with the insect. God it's not an actual bug, it's a tracker. So we can serious? keep tabs on Drew yes, after we sell it. Fine, out. but you're responsible for sneaking the four of us back in tonight. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. Man, look at this place. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got an her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen a Morthos team. I have seen one tremble him at the Pope. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand no, correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you Flarkin kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot-warm sort of thing. You mean hot-cold, right? What? A Kaleran skull. That 
is truly a priceless trophy. Behold! A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. They have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? And what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But 
It is a capable warrior, and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not nearly. that bad for a Flora... whatever. Deal. Twelve thousand units it is. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lee, Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, does it rob her? If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare and scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. We perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. Or not. Bad how you ended up with your wife. Ravat was the most proficient killer in the village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, sucking. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> I 
Remember no such time. Before your days, muscles. Will got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just say, have a little faith, Wolverine. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay, the tracker says... Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. certain there is in fact an elevator. Of course we're sure. We saw Groot leave on it. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course. There's an access panel or something back here. Perfect. Maybe I could just hotwire the dash thing. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring, and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Whoops! Must be setting our soothing sounds, Volume 2. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. trying to run this much current through one capacitor. Is there a problem? Switch this. Done. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, he Rocky, did that work? It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's gotta be a second node. Okay. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. And here. Got it. Switch the... Uh, Peter? Closing, closing, closing! Close one! Hey! Hey! We've got company! Stealing permitted now, Peter Quill. Yes, now! Kill them now! This is how it's done! Where's Shackle? Where's I got the wrong idea! I shot in the head on a team of... Light him up, Rocket! Silent as the grave. Another Hellraiser who shall not raise hell again. Stick it to him, Drax. Can't you follow a simple circuit path? Clearly not. Free lessons over here. I'll tell your mistress to say goodbye. Well, that was not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. This one. Oh, oh here. Yep. Uh, just a little slip, no big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah, you probably just lowered a hide a bed or something. Okay, here. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. <clears throat> See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. 
What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Roger, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You be sure a scut. Groot! That could have gone better. It could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Rodent is more irritable than usual. He didn't want us to sell Groot. Nor did I. She was an inferior choice. We got paid, didn't we? Now just a matter of us all getting out of here in one piece. Rocket, wait for us! We did not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. We should let all these things loose. Doesn't seem so bad. They're like pets. Like pets? Spoken by a woman who ain't spent enough time in a cage. Oh, cages have bars. Oh, what the heck is that? Definitely not a fan of whatever this is. This creature is grotesque. Yuck. Just yuck. It's like the Flarkin Collector's Museum all over again. At least these beasts seem well cared for. Prison's a prison. What is that smell? It's the mulcher. The what? The dry grass. Rocky, we found him! Over here! Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into Kindly. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but I uh, told the was... Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has... 
I don't know. Traumatized him. Exactly. Is that it, big guy? Are you hurt? Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Tartar. So no one's gonna talk about the fact that he's walking around naked. Would you all shut your floor and traps and let me think? Come on, talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarker do to you? Really? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! Now, 
Escaping Lady Helpin's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Did you hear him? Really? There's something wrong with the connection. Did he twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was a fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. 
I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't know the Riker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. Bring her back. Give me the wall back. I just have to. It's just an array. <laughs> just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova Trek cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Or else! <laughs> 